Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be playing the game called SnowRunner. Which, if you've been watching the channel, we have a few videos on this. In today's video, we are going to be working to move this oil, ri oil rig salvage semi-trailer. Which, this thing is pretty, pretty massive. It's got like 30 wheels on it. But we're going to try it with the, I think it's the Tatra, Tatra T813. So we got our four-wheel drive on. Got our lights. I haven't really used this truck much and I wanted to try it out and see how it handles first this very big trailer. It's it's a very slow uh, there we go. It's a very slow truck, but it has a pretty low center of gravity and it stays grounded pretty well, so I think it might be helpful in this mission with such a big load. I don't know why this just seems seems like Alaska to me. Just like the dark wilderness. It's all snowy and stuff. So we came in through an extremely muddy area. And I think that's the way we're going to go back out. I came in riding the sort of the center, like towards the rocks, because it, it kind of splits off around the rocks in both directions. I came in on the left side here, and that seemed uh, pretty sketchy. I think we're going to try and go to the right here. We might be okay going left, but... Yeah, actually, let's try the left. This thing is so slow. Try and save a little bit of time. Which is uh, usually backfires in this game. But we'll try it. And it's, it's already coming... Uh, there's a big rock right there. It's starting to slip downward. This is not good. Oh, shoot. There we go. Starting to come back up. That was getting real sketchy there for a second. Hopefully our trailer can, uh, can manage that and not flip. Uh, yeah, it's not looking too good, but... We're over the worst part of that anyways. Get the snow coming down. Are we really... Are we hitting something? Oh, the, that leg is hitting. Wow. Alright. There we go. I'm trying to go down to the left, but let's try winching from over here. There we go. That's helpful. There we go. I'm trying to go a little bit more to the left and then kind of now sneak back up. And that way it doesn't turn as much. See? Oh man. Oh. Oh jeez. Well, we made it through that. That's. I would. I'm assuming that's the worst part. Because I've been all the way to the port. Which, here actually. I'll show you quick where we're going to take it. So we're going to go down this road, up through here, and this is the part where it gets really muddy. And as I said, I, I, I stayed towards the middle, but on the left side, so there's some telephone poles here, which I hooked up to, but I think this time we're going to try and ride this tree line and see how that turns out. 
You could try and go through here, but I have been down that trail once and it did not fare very well. And this truck and trailer I don't think would even remotely close to fit down that trail. I think especially this starting area gets really sketchy right in here. But that's where we're going to try get up onto the uh, highway here and come back down into port. But yep, the sun is coming up now. Beautiful Alaskan morning. I will say this truck has passed that first test. The second one is the mud up here. If we can get through the mud, then we should be good. The weird thing about this trailer is these front tires are like really angled inward. It's kind of hard to see, but... Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. A little bit too far. And that's where we would have came out if we would have taken that right back there. It just loops up and over and it, I think it's a little uh, safer route. I'm trying to use the winch to pull me along whenever I can. Oh, we're getting kind of uh, at a weird angle here. A little bit too far up on that side. Should be good. Yeah, again, this this truck looks way outmatched by this trailer. I keep switching between auto and high. Neither one of them are really any faster. Now the sun's finally starting to come up. Alright, so that happened. So we are currently using the Royal BM-17. This is the truck I put the crane on, currently. I've had it on a few different trucks, but this is the one it's on now. So I guess now we have a rescue mission. To try and get our um, Tatra T813 back up and going with the trailer. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get that trailer back up or not. I, I really don't know. I feel like we should be able to get the, the Tatra, but... I mean, this will be uh, interesting. I don't even know if this if this crane will have the power to do that, but... I, I would think so. If not the crane, maybe the, uh, the truck in general can just pull it over, but... We'll try. <coughs> I guess I didn't even really think about it. We have to get down there too because all this muck. So this could be uh, interesting too. Put the four wheel on. It's like just behind that rock. So yeah, last time I followed the telephone poles in. I think this time we're gonna follow this edge. One thing I don't like about the, well, two things I guess the uh, Royal BM-17 that you can find on this map is it does not have mud tires and obviously right now those would be very helpful and it also does not have uh, diff lock so if you try and put it into a low gear you know it's you can't at least control tire spin at that point this one you're just kind of out of luck So it's probably not the best truck to have a crane on because it can't exactly get everywhere without having mud tires and diff lock. 
but we'll make do. Alright, how should we even approach this? Whoa. I think we'll, uh, we'll go up here and we'll try and get straight on from the uh, Tatra and just pull that and see if we can flip it. Well, maybe not straight, but relatively straight. Alright, let's attach a winch. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, I can't turn it on yet. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. One down. Um, I think I might switch to the Tatra just because that probably won't flip as easily. And I currently have mud tires on here. Oh, this might be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around first. But yeah, I put mud tires on here. Thinking that with all that mud up there, I'd rather have mud tires than chained tires. And we'll just deal with the ice uh, if we have, have to use it, you know. Alright, where is the winch point? Winch point's at on here. Oops. Okay, so a little bit more to our right. Let's try this. Oh, not that. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, oh. Oh, man. No way. try that again. Except I think we're going to try and push it up a little bit onto that edge. We're going to try and do the same with the tires. Hopefully that way they kind of fall down and flip it over. There we go. I don't know if you can see what I mean or not, but see how there's kind of the space under the tires. Hopefully it flips back over when we pull it now. Alright, try this again. I also wonder if we can get a little bit of a running start, if that would help. And pull. Come on. Oh, she's coming up, she's coming up. Oh, yes. Alright. Oh. Ah, oh, dang it. I tried to winch to whatever I could and it didn't work. I'm going to try the same thing. Except this time I'm going to try and push the tires a little bit further off. And hopefully they dig in and flip. Something more like that. Oh, that looks good. We'll try and get a little more centered up to it again. See if we can attach. Back up and get some speed. Oh, 
and pull. Yeah, it's not working either. Oops. I'm not really sure. So we've we drove into it and completely flipped it the other way. I wonder if we can pull it backwards and be able to flip it now. Because I think it will roll over a little bit. Well, probably not because it'd have to re-winch it. But we can try. Try and oops, go in a little closer. This is probably a absolutely horrible idea, but I'm pretty much out of uh, options. Dude, we don't even have any winch points. Oh, there we do. Can we get that bottom one? So that's the one I really want. No. Oh, there we go. How's our truck looking? Oh, not too good. Not too good at all. Um. Yeah. Actually, the more we pull it, the more we're going back. Oops. Well, I think I can officially say this ain't gonna work. get some good air. As amusing as this is, I'd really like to uh, flip the trailer over. I mean, it's, it is pretty cool though. Now we're going to try to pull it from the bottom. So we've been trying to pull it uphill. That has not been working. I'm gonna see if we can push it, sort of square it up against the road to the, to the top side. And there it's moving a little bit. Yeah, not much. Let's see if we can twist the front of the trailer a little more. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Try this again. And we're 
stuck again. Alright, I think that should be good. I would think it would tilt to the, the downhill side now. Oops. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, if this trailer wasn't so big, this would be a little easier. Oh, we might have it. We might have it. We might have it. Oh. Oh shoot. Oh, I thought it was going to overroll. Alright, well. That's kind of what I figured it might say. Oh my gosh. We actually got it. Alright, now it's time to not screw this up. Luckily, we're right up against that pole. I believe. No, we're not. We're off of it now. Now we gotta try and straighten it out. This is gonna take like a 55 point turn here. Oh, Jesus. As you guys can see with all the mud and stuff, we, uh, we had some fun trying to get this trailer out. It took about 25 minutes. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that we actually got it flipped over, to be honest. It's such a big trailer. So I totally forgot where I was, but... I believe I was talking about the path we came in on, and the path we were going to try and take out. We used up like, a, I don't know, a third of our fuel or something doing that. Because I'm, I'm assuming we used about a third just getting to this point. Yeah, high's not doing anything, low's not doing nothing. Well, low with div. I think it's about the same. It's just less noisy. I forgot we have uh, we have supplies with us on the top. We have fuel. I don't remember how much fuel, but we have fuel. I'll probably end up checking here in just a minute because I'm sure we're going to use a lot of fuel in this. Trying to see if a little less tire spin does anything for us, but doesn't look like it. This auto winch sometimes is not the greatest either. There we go. That is the tree that I wanted.
tree right in front of us. There we go. As you can see, it's very, very slow going in here. And if you don't have any trees or anything, it's it's even worse. The sun is already going down. We spent the entire day on this mission and haven't even got out the road. I think we started at like 3 a.m. Alright, let's do another winch. Let's do from the back here. Up here, that should speed it up. Oh, forgot about that. I actually didn't even know we were in high. Turn the brights on. Uh, right, let's try this again. Winch from the back up to there. That looks good. Speeds it up so much. Almost out. Trying to see how close the winch is. There we go. Winching our way along. Definitely should have chose a, a faster vehicle. But that's okay. This one uh, kept things interesting, to say the least. That did seem a little faster. There we go. We gotta take a wider turn now. Yeah, we, we started this mission at night, and we're going to end it at night. We're going to get over the guardrail. Two, three, four, and five. Yeah, we're finally getting... Getting it moving. Wow. Well, yeah, you can definitely tell we don't have uh, chains on our tires. We were just sliding all over in that turn. Hopefully this ends up panning out for us because with such amount of weight on this thing, I don't know if we can get up some of these hills. If there's any ice anyways. I think we're good. Oh shoot. Cut that a little too far inward. There we go. It says we're still in fourth. Oh, alright. The road slowly turns to the left, and then we're into port, so we're almost there. We just gotta not screw it up at this point. We might even have enough fuel to make it. Without having to use our reserves. I know I don't have uh, chains on, so I'm trying to take a little slower. Then we got 
a couple other trucks here. Oh shoot. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't know if we'll be able to make it, but yep, we should be good. There we go. And we're here. Mission complete. That was an interesting one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.